oh, don't worry about that oppressive uh, Akira Yamaoka-ish soundtrack messing there in the background. We're gonna have a good time because it's Tormented Souls, everybody. Welcome back. Right now we are in the Dark World version of uh, the eastern first floor eastern wing, the top corner we couldn't access before, but now in the Dark World we could access. We're in the newborn room, which is... I did not think about how uncomfortable that uh, could be in the Dark World version until now, so ooh, let's not dwell on that too much. Um... Last time we, uh, I used our new flashlight thingy to, uh, finally get to the laundry room. The laundry and shower room, we used that to get the, uh, disc that we finally used to access the east, the uh, second floor east wing, where, uh, we were going to confront William Wildberger, who was in his office. Uh, we got a bunch of interesting lore here in the bedroom and the children's room and everything else. There's now a freaking ghost out there that occasionally shows up to chase us. Showed up in the penthouse. That was uh, not fun. This the, the, the supernaturalness of this game is kind of obfuscating. And I know that's silly to say while we're in the dark world. But, you know, the monsters, sometimes the vibes are that the monsters are like science experiments. But then there's like an actual levitating ghost thing and, you know, yeah. Anyway, in the office, we found William Wildberger, presumably because he was dead in his uh, office chair. Apparently poisoned his wine, someone did, when we checked his diary. We also found out rather important detail, gotta remember this. Apparently he was the guy who knocked out Caroline when we first came in here and put, and put in that awful machinery in the restroom where the game started. Uh, that was the implication from the diary. And um, once Caroline escaped, apparently, he then went ahead with his plan to revive his long sick wife. Maria has apparently been in that awful sick state for 13 years now. And apparently it worked out for like a bit, but uh, then she died too after being healed. Before warning that Noah, Maria's grand... No, sorry, Maria's father. Not grandfather, Maria's father now has the children. But that would, again, I, I think Maria's working on 13-year-old information. I don't know if she stayed lucid for the last 13 years while she's been a horrifying radiation zombie. I don't know. So a lot to chew on and a lot for us to explore here. But uh, yeah, I imagine we're now exploring the Dark World version of this part of the map. I also really like how the letters kind of move around on this uh, map when you move it around. I don't know, it just looks really nice, the font moving there. Hmm. Anyway, uh, we are here in the in the uh, Dark World version of this corner. I imagine we're going to end up opening up this door or doing something to this door so that we can then access this part in the real world as well, because this door is locked from the other side in the real world, as you might recall. And after that, once we've explored the real world version, I don't know. We're, we, we've kind of checked out everything there is to check out in the in the uh, place at that point. Oh, dangly guy! Oh god, I think I hear a baby crying. Oh, lucky! Did I did I just hear a baby crying? Which would be newborn room vibes, I guess. Uh, one more, and then get out because we don't want to get greedy. Oh, what a freaking! Was that some iframes, or what the heck happened there? Because I think I should have, like, gotten clobbered. Shut up! Good stuff. Now, pardon me, did I see a weird red glow over here? Or was just that just blood splatter from this guy? Ugh. I thought I saw a weird, like, glow effect here. Let's go over here. Ugh, <sighs> I was like, let's go over here, because I don't want to confront whatever this is first. And then we gotta deal with this thing. It almost seems they are grasping for the hang dolls. Ugh. So let's see, there's a baby in the crib, and then there's two dead babies dangling there. Well, we don't know if they're dead. It might just be a cute baby's mobile? Is it called a mobile when you have one of these dangle things over a baby's bed? Uh. anyway, for God's sake. Oops, no, I was gonna... You know what? Why not just reload it normally? There's no monster here at the moment. Okay, what do we got here? 
The skeleton of Siamese twins joined at the head. Ooh, not just the head. Look at how those ribs go right there. That's not great. I think being joined at the head is particularly rough. I, I, I remember... It, well, it has to be over a decade now. Probably closer to 20 years. I saw some documentary about like a really... Really intensive uh, surgery to uh, d detach two who were conjoined by the top of their heads. It looked pretty gnarly just the way they were conjoined. And I'm not sure, like, I, I never did see... When I say I saw a documentary, I mean like I saw like a newspaper thing, not like a, like a, like a video. I'm not sure how what they did to the heads, because, like, they, they, the detached heads would, would not have, like, looked round. So they must have had to do additional surgery to fix that up. It was a success, as I recall, but it was very intensive because, you know, two brains right next to each other, rather sensitive parts of uh, human anatomy. This one looks even worse because they're completely fused in. This looks really, really bad. In fact, this looks... I don't know, this doesn't look real. <laughs> on away. An old incubator. Seems it hasn't been used in a long time. I don't know how these exactly work. I know you put, like, prematurely born babies in these things, but... How they function, what they exactly they do, I'm not a hundo sure. I'm not a doctor. Although I play one on TV. Hmm. The delivery room. Oh, no. Probably not delivery of, you know, message delivery. Oh, God. Well, let's get some bigger... Well, there's a very tight spot and this guy's coming right for us. And I think I just saw some shotgun shells over here. Thank you. Get out, get out. Ooh, once again, I think I was... I think I should have gotten hit there. I think I was a little too close. <laughs> Wrong weapon. Apparently I'm so close I got this going. Oh, wait, that missed? Hold on, this guy had iframes? Oh, wasting a shotgun shell. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, okay. There was some weird delay there with reaction then. Got it. We're still fine. We only got like a little bit clawed. But, oh dear. I don't know what those are in the... Hung up in the wall. Are they just parts of someone's body or are they babies? I can't tell. Don't really want to speculate too much. Interesting. A new mirror. Does that mean we're actually... Returning to the real world through a different route. And what is going on here? Two babies delivered, huh? Just big baby heads. Looks like there's no puzzles this time to affect this world. In this place we're in. It looks like this is just the way for us to get... Because I think the door is here. Oh no, the door is like here-ish. But we can't reach it. It's there over there behind that fence in the wall. So, I guess it's uh, mirror time. Oh, is this a save room? Listen to the music. Is this really a save room? It's not marked on the map as one, but... No, it, it, there's, a, there's a thing right there. Oh, interesting. Looks like we are just never going in the newborn room in this game, because both ways are barred, unless something dramatic happens. Uh, I mean, of course, the, the real-world newborn room, not the Dark World version. Well, I just booted up this game, so I don't really want to save right now, but we... Now, ooh! Our, our early game, Dearth of Tapes, apparently is solved. We got four of those babies. Ready to go. What's our healing item situation? We only got the one morphine. Okay, gotta remember that. This would be a great place to hand out some new healing items. A nice, you know, like, break room. Oh. Interesting. I th this, this one works without lighting the candles. All right, then. Oh. Ugh. Did they, like, do a... Delivery in a bathtub? That seems uncomfortable. 
I mean, giving birth is uncomfortable. That's... I'm, 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 I'm not... I, I haven't done it myself, but I understand that's how it goes. All right, well, anyway, we're going to wrap around to the East Wing Hall. The only silly thing is I feel like we haven't really gotten anything while we're here. So let's see what this hall provides us. Ugh. Also, got to be on the watch out for that damn ghost, you know? I'm not sure if it shows up in the dark world, but it certainly shows up in the real world. So got to be ready for that music cue. I do hear a monster, though. You hear that crawling noise? Yeah. An oil painting of an archangel brandishing a weapon. Tight. I hear this guy somewhere around here. Don't see him, though. Gotta play it careful. This hall is... long and elaborate. Is this a draggy, spitty thing? An oil painting of an archangel brandishing a weapon. Another sword. Is this a, some kind of puzzle thing? Can't remember the monster sounds. Is this the drag lad? It is a drag lad. Ah, oh, man. Now I'm in a caution state. Okay, hold on. So, ah, stupid monster, but I don't really want to... Gotcha. Oh. Oh, was that just a delayed sound from this monster? I, I don't know. Well, I'm going to use my morphine, keep myself healed up. Clock. Okay, we're gonna come back to that in a bit because that actually now these angel swords might be a clue. Where's this next guy? I can't. Oh, there it is coming. Why am I still equipping this goddamn thing? Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude! That, that guy flopped down the stairs. Alright, that went a little more efficiently. I just can't overcommit in my attacks, you know? Just gotta go after these things. An oil painting of an archangel brandishing a weapon. Yeah, I think my sense about these paintings might have been on the money. And over here, the day of our salvation finally came. The day of our salvation. Oh! Door unlocked. Oh no! Just wanted to make sure I could get back here. No, don't mind me. It's a good thing ghosts can't go through the walls. <laughs> okay, day of our salvation. So, birth of... Birth, birth, birthday of of uh, that that guy, Jesus. So it's this, right? It's Christmas Day, right? Not Christmas Eve. Here, where I live, all the big celebration is actually on Christmas Eve. But uh, the picture, the thing that happened there, the, the birth of Jesus shown in that picture, that happens on the twenty fifth, right? I think so. Well, it's not like I can really quickly cycle to the other one. The real challenge is... If I can figure out these, uh, sword positions. So that sword is pointing at, like, 3 o'clock. Can I figure out which sword is which and how to make them? I guess this is a short sword, so that, like, points... Kind of, uh... That would be maybe the, the hour hand, right? In which case, this spear over here would be the, 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 the second hand. So, let's see. Uh-huh. It's kind of pointing like 
maybe like at eight o'clock the hour hand and then let's move the second hand out of the way because the minute hand is pointing at that so like at 8 15. oh wait a second hold on do you think i just realized could there be an easy cheat for this uh, where is it? Is it under files? It's under files. No, this time's completely off. I wonder if this time that was supposed to be the, you know, time of birth was the answer, but I don't think so. And this one's pointing at like five o'clock. Oh. Let's see if let's see if my latest stupid plan is correct. Oh my god. Hey, stop it. Gotcha. An ornamental eye of jade. Okay, well, we actually know where there's a statue missing an eye. It's it's that bust in the office. So good stuff. Oh man. <laughs> Clock scared the pants off of me. Now we really are just doing like one step at a time, cause like I said, I think we've like explored every place there is to explore at the moment. So we're like just kind of do wrapping up loose ends here until we, you know, access the mausoleum, I suppose, and possibly do other stuff after. You know, there might. St I'm not saying we're at the end of the game for sure. I, I imagine there's still stuff to explore, but until we unlock, like, a whole new area, we're just kind of... ...screwing around doing this stuff, if you catch my drift. Okay. No ghost music. Good. And there's still plenty of stuff to do, for sure. Not least of all, accessing the, the like, downstairs place, obviously, but, uh... I imagine it has to be pretty straightforward for the time being, right? In terms of what we gotta do. Whew. Just getting alarmed here. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, I was like, which way is the ghost? Apparently it was exactly this way. Thank goodness. <laughs> I had quick reflexes. Oh my god, I actually get a heart attack there because I was already thinking. There he is. The man we assume is William. What is going on here? Anyway, let's do this and wonder what happens now. How did that slip in there? Oh yeah, also freaking this puzzle right here, I completely forgot. Like this hasn't become relevant yet, but let's listen one more time. Damn, that's gonna be so hard figuring out whatever that is. That right, right there. In fact, it could be r this right here because it's like right nearby. What? Yeah, this is exactly what we're doing. Okay, let's see. I think it's... I think it's... Th Hold on. I think that's the first one. Let's see. Huh, okay, let's see if I can get this. So, I think it's... Mm hmm, hmm. Okay, I was off by a note, but damn, okay. That went a lot better than I thought, because man, was I freaking when I heard this puzzle last time. Like, what the hell? <laughs> Tried to figure out that. Uh, okay. 
apparently I got a better ear for notes than I thought then, because I, 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 uh... Fireplace. It was recently ignited. Was I over here? I don't remember this part. No, I must have been here at this fireplace. Yeah? Huh. Like, uh, yeah. I could swear, doesn't the old adventure game Torin's Passage have, like, a thing where you have to order, like, acquire members of this, like, Lilliput tribe in, like, a certain order? And I swear I couldn't do that as a kid. Although that one's not just, like, pressing the right order, but just, like, actually moving around, like, figures to be in the right order. So there's, like, an extra step of difficulty there. Anyway, this is not marked on the map, I don't think. Yeah, we have no clue where we're going now. Oh yeah, the science books. So, a lot of quarts of milk. Or aqua blue, whatever that is. Pumping room. Apparently we gotta expect a fight. By the way, now that we have this flashlight, which means we can fight bad guys whenever that comes up, kinda had to be ready, like, all the time. For a bad guy brouhaha. Oh, that's just some electrical lights. Okay, cool. Like, there's like a power thing there or something. <laughs> like, ooh, spooky red lights over there. Wow, I got so turned around. This is where, just where we came from, but I was like, oh, new area? Okay. No. Odd, this thing was in the dark world. Which world are we in right now? A young child, a young child's jury in a place like this, so last entry was November 15th, 1980, when we time-traveled and saved uh, Anna. Anna? Anna. Anna, yes. Now this entry is... doesn't say when. Oh, but it is later. Thanks to that stranger, I was able to get out of the cell. I hid the best I could inside the mansion, but Grandfather and the suited men found me again. Oh, no! All our work was for naught! This time, they took me to the sewers under the family crypt. He told me that I wouldn't be able to escape, no matter how much I cried and begged. Then he closed the door and left. Luckily, he didn't notice the lighter and flashlight I grabbed from the mansion. I found what appears to be a bedroom. There's a filthy bed, electricity, and even a functioning television. There are boxes of food and a pipe that provides drinking water from above. Oh, the smell was terrible. It reminded me of the suited man who struck my mother just before she freed us from the metal crosses. Seven years have passed since my last entry. Oh gosh, so she's like 17 years old at this point, 1987. Wow, whoa, this is dark. The television, that offers only local channels, is the one thing that has kept me sane. Sometimes I wonder why I still hold on to life. Blisters have started to appear on my skin. I can feel a burning sensation. With each passing day, my appetite diminishes, while the vomiting only gets worse. Something is taking over me. <clears throat> Something evil. At night, I listen to the sounds of clanging metal from behind the door that leads to the underground temple. After all these years, I am still unable to sleep with those noises ringing out. So, she sleeps in the day, I guess? That's so awful. That's what happened to Anna. Okay, there's a door over there, but why don't we look at... Oh, no. Why don't we go check out that door first? <sighs> it's locked from the other side. Great. Hello, sir. <laughs> Goodbye, sir. So that's all of our heavy ammo. Oh, wow. What the? Stun lock? Alright, now, now it's time to back off. Okay, I'm surprised we got that guy stun locked like that. That was epic, actually. Okay, with that one miss, we only used up one... 
one uh, nail in this guy. Good freaking fight. <laughs> I don't know why I thought my plan of let's go elsewhere first would work. <laughs> now we're well and truly screwed. I guess I haven't like uh, used my items very optimally, have I? Another diary, huh? Bertrand Wildberger, and this one is very early. If that, it's like 1927. Oh my god. So 1967 and 71 when he was doing experiments, but this is way older. This is when he's like a... He has to be, unless he was like Methuselah in, in the 70s. He'd have to be a pretty young guy at this point. I have finally found my purpose in life. The truth came to me through this book and from the hand of the creator. Right now I stand inside the sacred temple. In the presence of a god waiting to be reborn, I can clearly see my destiny. I will dedicate my life to the rebirth of the Pollux sect. Together, we will bring back our savior, so I may return light to this wicked world. Hmm. Rather religious character here. Who's the only other religious character we know? Hmm. But the, the weird thing is that it was, it was the other grandfather. It was Noah who was doing all the evil cult stuff like who had the kids captured this was bertram's diary but bertram was the one who saved anna and emma initially grandfather noah came into the room and kidnapped them for the creepy i've said this several times but it's just so fascinating they were there being like being spooky culty stuff and then like yeah mom shows up and it was our other grandfather bertram who came to save them like, which is very, very, very strange. Oh, he will ask the mother what she was doing without a suit. That's right, everyone is wearing suits. And after this incident, uh, Maria started exhibiting, like, radiation sickness and turned into that awful goopy thing. So, oh, there's, there, there is, like, a, also an element of, like, magic radiation or something, right? Now that I look at this, huh... That's nothing to do with the part that I'm just wondering how weird this situation with the two grandfathers is. But yeah, it looks like Bertram... Bertram is still kind of being evil too. We can't really consider him the good guy. But it seems like Noah is still even more evil. <laughs> um, also, Castor and Pollux, of course, the, uh, the, the twin founders of Rome... Another twin motif, so the Pollock sect. So, so yeah, hold on. Get Grandfather Bertram was involved in that. Does that have something to do with Grandfather Noah's cult? Or is it a whole different cult? I don't know. And why is there an electric chair in a hospital? Electroshock therapy? Maybe? Ugh. William Wildberger's ID card. No, but it says Bertram Wildberger, director, not William Wildberger. What? No, I don't know what to believe. Well, what the heck do we do with that? Actually, well, well I've got one idea of where we could take it. See if we can figure it out, but okay. The fact that the card says Bertram, but then the text says William, that's very confusing, I have to say. Okay, I got an idea of what to do with this, but after we do this, I'm actually a little bit stumped. I can only think of one other puzzle we haven't done yet. Okay, Ghosty Goo isn't here. Why don't I save the game after... N normally, I would save, like, a little bit later, but I think we've made good progress. We're about halfway... We, we recorded one episode's worth. I think I can... I, I can spare to make a quick save here. Plus, see if there's any new dialogue from, uh... Caroline here. Uh... Apparently not. All right, 